This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place for you to get TCGO code cards. They already have Darkness of Blaze up on stock, so definitely check out the website and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. They have a huge variety of code cards, so you'll definitely find something you like. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. If you're from Europe, you're obligated to check out this website. You can purchase cards on here as well as sell your own cards to people all across Europe. And uh, they have huge uh, bargain sales right here as well as best sellers. And you can even uh, purchase physical cards uh, for instance, booster boxes of the new set. So definitely check it out. Uh, my Both of my sponsors, BoatDownStore.com as well as CardMarket.com. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. I know what you're gonna say. Are you playing Picaram? Yeah, we are playing Picaram post rotation. Got a lot of suggestions for people that want to see how it looks like. Uh, right now we're playing two Galarian Zigzagoon because Zigzagoon will help us to uh, one-shot Crobat with the Tag Ball GX. We are still as uh, yeah quick as ever. We have Tapu Koko Prism Star. Three energy switches is uh, definitely a must because that means we can switch from the Tapu Koko or uh, from somebody on the bench to uh, the Pokemon that we want and the active position so we can full Blitz immediately. So we get energies thanks to Tapu Koko and then we can energy switch all everything to the Pika Run. That's what the deck is all about. Late game, we have Vikavolt, very good against Baby Blasaflon. If they uh, go crazy with uh, like their uh, Fireball Circus, we can use this as an option. But we also have Mimikyu to just uh, put one Galarian Zigzagoon ping onto uh, something like an Oracorio and then reset stamp. Very nice. But also, you can use the Mi Mimikyu for Mimikyu, uh, for Mimikyu, for Mewtwo, the perfection ability, locking that out instantly. Mewtwo sees some success uh, lately and uh, has been seeing an increase in popularity. We have Big Charms for more HP. Definitely against stuff like Zation, ADP. Uh, we also have Tur uh, the uh, Bolton here, very nice. If you go second, if you don't get the Throw Blitz off, you can still rely on Electrify. And Bolton is a, a very nice sweeper with Bolt Storm because we do run 13 energies in here in the late game. If your energy stick on the board, thanks to a lot of full blitzes, you can actually uh, yeah, get the Bolt Storm going around and one-shot everything you want. No Electro Power anymore, but we have uh, added some Jirachis in here for consistency uh, with Bird Keeper. Bird Keeper switches around while also lets us uh, draw three cards. Very nice if you want to get that Picaram into the active slot. No longer we uh, can rely on the Thunder Mountain, but we do have Chaotic Swell to make sure we can bomb stadiums or stuff like Black Market Prison Star. Hey, yeah. Picaram post rotation. I uh, people uh, always say like, don't play Picaram. Eternus eats it up and all that. Uh, but we're definitely gonna try it anyhow because there were three players uh, that did quite successfully in the Hexter TCG tournament. Uh, that actually was the number six uh, tournament from Hexter TCG. 155 players and actually this got into top 16 three times. So Picaram is still alive. You don't want to see Eternus for sure. But if you're up against somebody else, you should be awesome. Should be so uh, fly. Okay, <laughs> the opponent is already saying hello. If we're up against the Sidewai, that's I think automatically very bad. Maybe we can have first turn full blitz, get boss orders, and knock everything out at once. Or use uh, Raichu to paralyze. That only works against Obstruct. Against the Sidewai, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, we're up against Matt's party. Matt's party does get the numbers done, but we do have big charm, so at least that is a. Uh, little bit of a, uh, at ease so we can use quick ball get in the discard pile we'll see what it brings quick ball energy goes away they only have 30 hp by the way these fellas we can even uh, use galarian zigzagoon pings to uh, get chaos now that i think about it now that i think about it <laughs> i think i want to try something out Galarian Zigzagoon, ping, bang. Yeah, that could be a nice win condition. <laughs> now that we're at it, we do have two Galarian Zigzagoons. That's how we typically go with stuff. The big charm could go to the discard pal. Might as well equip to the Jirachi. Yeah, sure. Research time. We also have the Danny and uh, lots of options available to us. Zigzagoon ping, that's what I thought. Zigzagoon ping, yeah. Get, get myself a prize card, thank you. Uh, okay, what do we have? We don't have an energy just yet, but we have Fika Vault, which can put item lock shenanigans going around. We have the Tapu Koko, which can accelerate the energy that is in the discard pile right now. And we can also yeah, use energy switch. So Dance of the Ancients, these two fellas. Look at that. Could have even item locked him instantly. That was very good against Mad Party, by the way. 
Uh, yeah, we <laughs> energy switch this guy to that one. We scoop up. And that's how we typically win games against Mad Party. Thanks, he said I, I played well. I played correctly, that was my win con. Just seeing two little synesthes. Ta-ta! Galarian Zigzagoon, very good. So against Mad Party, that is the way you should go. You have two Galarian Zigzagoons and then you just focus on uh, Vika Volt, putting that 50 damage and item lock. That means they cannot play down their quick balls, their great balls, their communications. I, I don't know if they're playing communication, but their familiar bells, you know how it goes. They play a lot of items and uh, you we, Mad Party, you just uh, auto win that with the scenario that I just showcased. So Picaron does have good things going for it. We're probably up against ADP, fellas. ADP, you don't want to see that. People already say like, oh, ban ADP and all that. We'll see what it what it brings. Cool Mew coin with like a huge big head. Picaron always want to go second. As seen before, you can get everything going around. Tapu Koko Prism Star, okay. I think we do have switches. Scoop up Nats, yeah, we have Scoop up Nats. I think you should start with Zigzagoon in an opening hand like this. Sure. You can then use Smackdown, Vika Vault, maybe Smackdown, Alolan, Raichu, and Raichu, Dedane, get two energies in the discard pile, and go from there. We'll see. I don't know what we're up against, but seeing as we're seeing lots of ADP madness, maybe the deck box and the sleeves give it away, that means we cannot rely on a lot of two prizers. But using Vikavolt so they are not able to play down Energy Spinner could slow them down immensely. We'll see what it brings. The opponent can start first, so we'll see. Hmm. They are. They do have a slow internet connection. Makes me a little bit wary. Hopefully the uh, match will go through. And what I'm seeing directly is that two energies in this card pile with research is awesome. Hopefully our second Dedenne is still in the deck if it is in the prize cards. Yeah, the opponent is still selecting their starter Pokemon. Maybe they have more. Maybe they have ADP, Zacian, Zamazenta. I don't know. Finally, they have Jirachi. Okay, fine. We start with Zigzagoon, which we can pick up thanks to Scoop Up Net. That's awesome. Jirachi. What are they gonna do? Stellar Wish for a Quick Ball, Quick Ball, ADP, Attachment. It all depends. The opponent is doubting what to do. In our case, I will just... If I if I'm up against ADP, I wonder if we should use Vikavol at all. Okay, you just can see their internet cannot handle us. <laughs> what was that? People on the versus ladder. Sure. Also, the funny fact is that you get Picaroms in the versus ladder right now. So if you want some, that's an easy access. Okay, hopefully the next opponent will face the uh, wrath of Picaron because these two matches were very, like, crazy. A person had a low internet connection and the other one uh, got outsmarted thanks to Galarian Zigzagoon pings. Okay, Forbidden Light deck box. The opponent has been playing the game ever since Forbidden Light or maybe even longer. We lost the coin flip. Come on, opponent, go first. We want to go second. We want to get that first turn full blitz. Oh, okay, we can go first. Dang it. Ooh, starting with Eldegos. Oh, yeah, already seeing a hard phase. Hello. Yeah, we start with Eldegos. I guess so. It's better than starting with a Danny. Okay, Sinistee again. Sure. We've seen this before. I'm gonna get rid of this, gonna get rid of that. That's two energies going down the drain. We can use Galarian Zigzagoons, which I will do. Yeah, both of them are in there as well as three scoop up nets. We have one in hand. Come on, we, we can maybe dunk him if we get Zigzagoons. Stellar Wish. Yeah, it's time for some Dedenne action. Come on. What will we get? Zigzagoons, no goons, unfortunately. Okay, then go to the Stellar Wish party. Quick ball. Sure, quick ball this. Chapu Coco Prism Star. Although getting out the uh, Zigzagoon would have also been awesome. Let's slap this down. He cannot attack on the first turn, although he can with the scary approach. Yeah, Picaron can take simultaneous prize cards, or we can go with the 
energy switch combo and the Vika Volt. It all depends on what we get, but Galarian Zigzagoon Pinks should be awesome to take care of the mad parties. We have two Zigzagoons. We need two Zigzagoons and one Scoop Up Net. Shouldn't be that hard. We get Speed Lightning Energy as well. So what I preferably want to do is use Zigzagoon Pinks, knock this out while using Full Blitz as well. That is going to be like a huge turn. Or using Item Lock. Item Lock is also very, very strong against Sinistee. Or actually the Pulte Guys Mad Party deck. I wonder what it's going to do. Maybe Stellar Wish, Quick Ball, Vikavolt is an option. We've already won against this in one turn, but I actually want to see uh, the action of Picaran going around. Okay, Great Catcher. That is a nice way to get these fellas in the discard pile. He cannot evolve on the first turn though. Yeah, who is going to pick? Probably the Dene. He, he does have an energy, so he can retreat, so that does not matter. It does matter because we can now use Stellar Wish, unfortunately. So here comes the research. He needs Air Balloon and an Attach, uh, and preferably a Twin Energy to start attacking on us. If he doesn't, we should be okay. Still have access to three Scoop Up Nets. Okay, he has the Twin Energy. Does he have the Air Balloon as well? Okay, we have Quick Ball going around. Dedenne. Does he gonna play his own Dedenne? That would be awesome. That means Full Blitz will be going at his max potential. Is he gonna use a 2 prizer? Okay, little Dedenne. Little Dedenne in hand. Maybe he has Poltegeist in hand and he doesn't play any 2 prizers. We definitely need to take care of that Sinistee right away. So Quick Ball, getting rid of that, getting another one, maybe another Sinistee. Maybe he's afraid of using Sinistees because we have two Zigzagoons and three Scoop Up Nets. That is in total five pings. <laughs> Unfortunately, not enough. Another Dedane, another Quick Ball. Electromagnetic Radar. Okay, I've seen this before. Come bring your Dedanis. Sure. That gets us two prize cards. We just need to get a Big Charm. Do we have Big Charms left? Yeah, Big Charm onto the Picaram. So we have a little bit of durability. Then we can. Uh, Put damage onto ourselves, get multiple prize cards in the process, and we should be okay by then. Does he have a way to get the Sinistee out of the active position? Did he already use a supporter? Yeah. Come on, let's pass it out. I wonder if we should go with research. I think speed energy is better so we can get the Zigzagoon pings and then attack. So we can get like lots of these attackers simultaneously. Okay, that's fine. We can also get rid of the Danny and use that uh, as a way out. Droop, droop. Okay, the Danny. <laughs> How many research in here? Lots of them left, right? By getting more the Danny's in play, he is going to use boss's orders at one point anyhow. And we need to find those little Galarian Zigzagoons. Okay, funky. Really, really funky for sure. Full Blitz. <laughs> Only one? What is this? We cannot even like Full Blitz. Ah, oh, this this is ridiculous, folks. We do get a prize card, but really. A lot of HP, not a lot to work with, unfortunately. <laughs> this guy can two shot. Ah, what is this? We get all the energies in hand thanks to that research. Tishi Geo shuffles, right? We get our, uh, they will get the revenge on the mad party, but the good news is we can ba boss his order to the Danny anyhow, and then use the Galarian Zigzagoon ping, so... Prize raise wise, we could still do okay. <laughs> Funny enough, okay, here is the Poltegeist. T break time. That is five Pokemon in there with the mad party attack. Evolution Incense. Definitely gonna take down that Dedenne, now that I think about it. I also want to find my Vikavolt. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, using the Tag Bolt GX at one point would have been awesome, but yeah, all of our energies typically are in our hands, for sure. Sad news. How many energy switches though? Yeah, well, three of them. It's fine. Okay, Rose Tower. We haven't seen that before. And Mad Party, a Reezer. Oh boy. One, two, 
five, eight, two boss doors as well. Oof. Yeah, that would have not mattered. <laughs> the Mew would have saved him from Tag Ball, so I'm fine. I'm glad we didn't accelerate all those energies to it. Six, seven, eight, 160, fine. Yeah, do your 160, do your best. We can take this guy down with Galarian Zigzagoons and two scoop up nets. We're gonna go dive deeply into the deck. Ooh, even a Crobat. Oh, I'll take that for sure. Crobat is easier to target down. I wonder if he has any sort of like, you can also like paralyze him. Don't know if he's run running any switches or not. This is actually not too bad. Energy switch, okay. Attaching onto the today. We have reset stamp, we have quick ball, okay. Getting rid of this. We get Galarian Zigzagoon Pings, a little bit late to the party, but not for right now. Let's get Vikavolt. We cannot bench it just yet, or he's gonna use boss's orders on it. But that leaves our Pika run alone, which is also not bad. Taking down this guy. Sure. Slapping this guy down. Energy switch. Onto the Vika Vault. And then. Tag Bolt GX for <laughs> DKO. Okay. If he knocks us out, we reset stamp him. It's that easy. Taking two prize cards here again. We have Bird Keeper. Reset stamp. Double reset stamp. I wonder. We can still get it with Galarian Zigzagoon Pinks. He takes three prize cards and two prize cards. We are ahead in the prize race and we can still rely on Zigzagoon Pinks. Fortunately for us. And we also have the Dedani on the field right there. Two bosses in here. Hapu as well. Okay, what's going on here? Maybe we can like reset stamp him and then he dead draws. Maybe he has Fionn in there thrown in. Ooh, close. Pikaram doing some funky stuff. The, the bad news is otherwise we could have tag bolt, but I'm glad he slapped, slapped down the Mew, which is awesome. And this is also another boss's order, so we can item lock him at one point. Not that it's going to matter too much. How many boss in here? One. One. It's too bad that we already have Aldigos thrown up on the field. Quick ball again. He has his entire setup. Seven, eight, nine. That's nine. That's 180. If we get another big charm on this guy, we could have like a big HP Pokemon. Sinistee. Okay. The reset stamps are nice, but irrelevant at this point. Matt party. He takes a couple of prize cards, three of them. So maybe a bosses, uh, a reset stamp could be nice. Okay, Galarian Zigzagoons, it's time for you guys to shine. Stamp. Stamp the tree. Research. One ping. Okay. As well. Okay, let's see here. This energy switch could be okay, but not gonna happen. Research for next turn. We can bench that. I'm gonna get rid of this card. I'm gonna get myself Galarian Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon ping. Um, this guy. Scoop up. Zigzagoon ping on that guy. Smack down. We just need to find one scoop up or a zigzagoon. Hmm. Probably the item lock is better at right now. 
Although getting the boss's orders for next turn would be awesome if we get that. Oh, so many options. If we knock this guy out, we just need to find boss's orders, right? We have switch in hand. Swell right here. Paralyzing Bolt. That's another addition to that mad party squad. Okay, we have the boss's orders. Fine. Okay, they just concede. Okay, woo! No items being able to play. He could have not knocked us out thanks to the big charm. And then we had the boss's orders for game. Wow. Close. Picaram taking games, but it's taken a while. Taking the best of me. Mad party. I, I I wonder how we do against stuff like ADP or Santa Scourge or whatever. <laughs> These uh, mad parties getting smacked in the face by Vikavolt. Okay. Ninjask, our opponent. Fire deck box with a Team Magma logo coin. Losing the coin flip doesn't matter with Picaram. If he goes for Fire Dax will go second. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Okay. Do have Picaram, Vikavold in the active slot. I wonder what we're up against. Thor cool. Okay. Alright. Uh, this guy. Welder and attach can actually do some significant damage. Electromagnetic radar, getting a Picaram, getting a Dedene. I don't. I wonder if we should get out two Picaroms. I'm gonna play it safely. Just get out just one single Dedene. Slap this guy down. Slap that guy down. And Dedene time. We just need to have like a research for next turn or whatever. Attachment of turn is awesome though. We can full blitz and then go from there. Sure. <laughs> Look at all these fellas. Big charm. Big charm for everybody. Hopefully we draw into like electro electromagnetic radar, a Jirachi, a quick ball. There's a lot of outs. Maybe we should have attached to the Vika Vault. Hammer. Oof. Hammers. Torkoal hammers. Scary. I think I will attach to the Vika Vault. Maybe. Maybe he has also Team Yagran. Haven't seen this Torkoal uh, deck in action. Using the uh, full blitz is always awesome. Okay, welder time. Getting a couple of energies. Hammer time! <laughs> Woohoo! We are so glad about that. If the hammer was successful, we would have been in trouble. Only 90 damage, okay. Come on! Switch switch is not gonna help. We can, however, put one energy into this card pile. Let's shuffle our deck again. How many outs did Dane? Four quick ball. Three research, two speed lighting energy. There's a lot of things we can do. Yeah. He's gonna slap damage onto us very shortly. I know that. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Sure. Take down. I could have also like attached here and used electrify, but it's the same scenario. Although with the hammers going around, I don't know if he has a deck with 39 cards. Will there still be a hammer in there? I don't know. Giant Heart? Is he gonna weld onto the Storkle again? Our Bolton will survive and then we can full blitz. Sure. Boss's orders. Hey! What are you doing? Steam Crush for 120. Getting rid of all of our energies. Simultaneously. Sure, bruh. This is getting annoying. To say the least. Electrify. Well, maybe we should have done that earlier, but then again, all of our energies would have been gone anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, a weird setup. This guy getting rid of all of our energies. Probably needs another boss's order, to be honest. Otherwise, we electrify again and then zigzagoon ping and then do the GX move. Quick ball four. LD goes. <laughs> LD goes boss, really? Okay, take my energies. Take them all. Okay, this is annoying. Definitely need Tapu Koko Prisma Star at this point. Switch card. We've already burned through like three switch cards already. We don't have Zero Aura anymore. Oh, this guy is just going crazy with the Torkoal. Busted Torkoal. Okay, we still survive, but all of our energies are gone. Jirachi, help us out. Okay, if he knocks us out, we stamp him. Use Jirachi, go from there. 
there's still time. We have Tapu Koko, Prism Star. We have energy switches left. Two of them. We have the Dane left. So, I wonder. More energies. Probably should be playing Oranguru as well, right? To just use that Combustion Pillar. Another Torkoal pops up. Turbo Patch. Okay, that is successful. Wilder onto the Torkoal. This <laughs> Torkoal deck is annoying. Okay, three cards. That's all he has to work with. But he's gonna get more thanks to knocking out our Picaram. Quick Ball. His Pokey Gears. Crobat drawing tons and tons of cards. Look at that. Crobat. Hello. Probably gonna be losing this one, fellas. Yeah, we already have like so many energies in this card. They have now the insane Cape of Toughness, so this Torkoal deck is legit. Okay. They ta they've taken three prize cards from us. Insane. We have the boss. Not that that's gonna matter anytime soon. So, Stamp. Come on, let's get something going. Quick Ball, okay, we get the Dene. Quick Ball, the Dene time. Hmm. Let's get this. Jirachi the Dene. <laughs> and go from there, it's very funky, that Torkoal deck. Mm-hmm, what to do now? Electrify. He wants to go with, with the GX move if I can. But if he has another boss orders, it's irrelevant. Next turn, we probably will get a scoop up net and all that. So, attachment here. Research. Scoop up and tap Coco Prism Star. Come on. Energy switch. That's also good. Yeah. Electrify. <laughs> Two energies. Come on. We'll see what this brings. Pikaran can then full blitz. Finally. And uh, if we can get the GX move off and knock out the Crobat, then process that would be fantastic. But Steam Crush is very annoying though. I also Vitavolt is not pretty useful because he already has energies in play. Very funky deck. Very funky deck. We should also check this out. Like Torkoal. Torkoal disruption. Definitely. Okay, the Dene, he has like all the support Pokemon, Eldigo, Dene, Crobat. Now we need to face two Torkoal. And he's probably looking for bosses orders and hammers. And the hammers are not working, but they uh, they do not need to work. Full Blitz, okay, Steam Crush. The yeah, disruption is, is, is so real. Okay, we have a switch, which is awesome. Okay. Switching to this guy. We could also like put him in an item lock, but that's not gonna matter. Okay, this two energy switches, insane. We cannot afford to do this. We can get Tapu Koko Prime Star and then double energy switch, but It's not gonna matter. If, even if we full blitz, we don't have any energies left in the deck. Tapu Koko Prism Star is in there though. He's gonna attack us 120 and then he's gonna attack us one again 120. Depending on how many bosses orders he has. Poke Gear. Welder. He's fully committed to two Torkoals though. 150, 150. Another Torkoal. Three Torkoals! That is not something we can handle. Mm-hmm. Turbo Patch as well. Okay, sure, take it all, man. 
We're up against an army of Torkoals that get rid of all of our energies. This is sad. Mm-hmm. What now? Yeah, here is the Tapu Koko Prism Star that is pretty useless at this point. Yeah, I think he just... Well played, he wins. So, yeah, Picaram, I don't know how to feel about this. Definitely against that weird Torkoal deck, but... It is still legit, try out the list, use Vikavol when the time is right, the Galera and Zigzagoon pings are very good. If you're not up against Eternus, you should be okay, unless you're faster than Picaram. Maybe you should play some hammers in this list, it all depends on your personal playstyle. Play but uh, if you enjoyed the video with Picaram, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video very shortly. Peace out!